Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. Today for our lesson, we're going to continue to talk about polygons and we're going to talk about the attributes that those shapes have. So remember, attributes are just um, like characteristics of that shape and polygons are just a closed shape with straight sides. So they can't have curves to them. They have to all have straight sides. So our learning goal for today says I can draw polygons with different attributes. So first, let's get started with talking about the materials that you're going to need. You're going to need an index card, so you can use that as like your right angle tool, like we did in the previous lessons. Um, a ruler, so you can draw say, um, shapes with the same side lengths. Your problem set, and then this lesson template. Okay, so this is in your math book or in the module. You can download, but you're going to need this to be able to look at the shapes with your right angle tool. Okay, so we're going to start with the application problem for today. So it says, Frankie says that all squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are squares. Do you agree with this statement? Why or why not? Draw diagrams to support your statement. Okay, so I want you guys to pause the video and draw some pictures that go along with this statement about rectangles and squares. All right, friends, so here's what I came up with. So I separated my screen and I have my rectangles over here and I have squares here. So just some characteristics of rectangles. They have four sides, uh, has two sides of parallel lines. The sides don't have to be the same length, but can be. Squares have four sides, have two sets of parallel lines, and all sides are the same length. So Frankie says that all squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are squares. I agree with Frankie. A square has all the same things as a rectangle. It's a rectangle with four equal sides. But rectangles don't have all, have to have, always have to have all equal sides. So squares, all squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are squares. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. All right, so let's work on our lesson for today with attributes of polygons. So we're going to analyze this shape and you're going to come up with as many attributes as you can that describe this shape. So let me think of one for you here. Like it's a quadrilateral because it has four sides. Can you guys come up with anything else? Give yourself just like a minute of think time and say to yourself some attributes for this shape. All right, so here's some that I came up with. Did you come up with any of these? So it's a trapezoid. It's four-sided, one pair, one pair of parallel lines, two right angles, and two equal sides. So those are the ones that I came up with. Maybe you came up with some too. So we're going to talk about ways that we can describe other angles. So we've talked about right angles where we know that we can use our index card. And as long as it goes on the corner of an index card, that's a right angle. But there's other angles besides a right angle. So let's look at our picture again. So if I bring in my right angle tool or my index card and I look right here, this is a right angle because if you notice, it follows exactly along with the corner of the index card. So that tells you that it's a right angle. So now I'm going to put in it, um, my index card over here and notice how on this part of my shape, like it comes past. So here's my line, but it comes past my right angle right here and goes farther. Okay. It's an angle that is greater than a right angle. So we can call it greater than a right angle because it goes greater than a right angle does. See, imagine how we named it that. Um, you can also call this an obtuse angle. That is another name for this type of angle. So it's a greater than right angle or also known as an obtuse angle. Let's take my index card here. And I know it's hard to see because my index card covers up part of my shape. So I'm going to draw a line right here of the part that we can't see of the shape. So when I look here, my angle doesn't fully go all the way to my right angle. It stops less than that. So this angle right here is a less than right angle because it's less than a right angle. It's also known as acute angle. I think about, it, oh, it's such a cute little angle because it's just a small one. It's less than a right angle. So that's how I remember that it's called also an acute angle. 
So let's review some of these. So these two angles are a right angle. What's this one, friends? Yeah, it's a greater than right angle. How about this one? It's a less than right angle. Awesome job, friends. So remember, you want to use that index card or your right angle tool to be able to help you. If it follows the corner, it's a right angle. If it goes past the corner and is greater than that, it's a greater than right angle or an obtuse angle. And then if it goes less than the corner of your index card, it is a less than right angle or a cute angle. So for now, I want you guys to draw a shape with one angle that is greater than a right angle. So if you need your right angle tool, you can do it. But one of the sides, out of all the sides, have to be greater than a right angle. So go ahead and pause the video, draw one shape, and then click play when you're ready to see what I drew. And we'll see if we drew the same one. All right, so here's what I came up with. So if I notice right here, up my top side of my trapezoid is a right angle. I'm sorry, it's a greater than right angle. And then my bottom ones actually are less than right angles. See how we can see that with the corner? It's greater than, it goes past the corners of the index card. All right, so here's another one. So draw a shape that has at least two right angles. So pause the video, draw a shape that has at least two right angles. All right, so here's what I came up with. So I just drew a shape, right? Just has different sides on it and they're straight sides to be a polygon. This one has a lot more than two right angles. So it has at least two because it has four. So there are four right angles in this shape. Okay, can you draw a quadrilateral with more than four angles? Go ahead and pause the video and do that now. All right, so here's what I came up with. Oh, friends, you can't do that. You can't, to get more than four angles, you need more than four sides. And then that wouldn't be a quadrilateral if it has more than four, ones, than four sides. Because remember, quad means four, okay? So you cannot have more than four angles if a shape only has four sides. Trick question for you there, friends. <laughs> okay, so let's play a game. Okay, so you're still going to need your board for this. Here's how you play. I'm going to give you three attributes. You're going to draw a shape that has all three attributes. Not one of the three, not two of the three, all three. And then we're going to see if our shapes match. Okay? You can also play this game with your learning guides or with a partner at home with this lesson template that is in the module or also in your math book. What you will have to do though that's different in the template and in your math book is you will have to label the shapes or the squares like I did here. So notice how this whole column has A's, this whole middle column has B's, and this last column has C's on it. So what you'll do is you'll cut these out and then you'll have to place them in three piles. So all the A's go in one pile, all the B's go in one pile, and all the C's go in another pile and then you would have to pick one card from each letter pile to be able to give you your three attributes that you need to draw your shape for. So that's one way you can keep playing this game at home. So let's play together. So we're gonna draw a shape that has all three attributes. The first attribute is has at least one angle greater than a right angle. The second one is it has to be a quadrilateral. So you need to know what a quadrilateral is and has to have at least two equal side lengths. So go ahead and pause the video and draw a shape that has all three of those attributes and then click play when you're ready to see if we drew a matching shape. All right, here we go. So I drew a trapezoid, okay? It has an angle that is greater than a right angle. It has two side lengths that are the same and it has at least two equal side lengths. All right, let's do another one. So your attributes are, has at least one angle less than a right angle, is a parallelogram, and has at least one set of parallel lines. Those are the three cards that I drew. Okay, so pause the video and go ahead and draw a shape that has these three attributes. 
and then click play when you're ready to see if our shapes match. All right, so here's what I drew. Here's my parallelogram, okay? Down here, I have an angle that is less than a right angle. It is a parallelogram because the sides are parallel, and that also follows with a third attribute, which is has at least one set of parallel lines. This one actually has two. Okay. All right, here's another one. Draw a shape that has more than four angles, is a hexagon, and has at least one set of parallel lines. Okay, friends, pause the video, draw your shape, and let's see what I have. Here is my hexagon, friends. All right, yes, great job, friends, drawing polygons with different attributes. You guys did an awesome job with this. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete next. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. <laughs>